Hi guys, this is Lynn with LV Crafts and thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, this is a continuation of my Valentine's scrap day crafting. Um, this is this video is for my friend Janet. She requested, she wanted to know everything I had made for Valentine's. So girl, buckle up, get a drink. Here we go. So I made this. Um, these are those felt um, hearts from I think the Dollar Tree and I made um, this pretty looking embellishment that um, has the gnome, a mustache, a bow, and it has a love you. So I'm going to go kind of fast but still wanted to show you. I made this um, like a bouquet holder and it's a little, um, what's the word, it's a little um, wrinkled because it was um in my in my stash but i wanted to show it to you um and i just put this is what it looks like it's a heart i folded it like a bouquet and then i put a little you know tag and a doily and the glitter i need to get more of these the pink ones and the red ones i haven't seen them this year okay so i got i i you saw the row sets i showed them to you earlier I'm gonna show you the little stuff first. Then these are these are these little um, like bags, right? But I'm going to make it into like a like a book. I'm gonna still sew through here, so it looks like a little book, right? And I'm gonna put a little pieces of paper in here, make it into a little book, and then you can also slide in like a like a tag or a card or something right here. So I made four of those. Let me show you what they look like. Um, this was my attempt at doing some flat mail. Started with this. This is very flat. You see, there's no dimension. So um, there's this one, and I used the um, Doodle Bug collection for all of these, and then I just layered it up with flat, just very flat embellishments or flat um, punches and uh, felt hearts, etc. Uh, this was my second attempt at a flat embellishment and then it has those little things and then this is not so flat because it has a holographic uh, heart right there and another one of those so I made four of those <coughs> then I have to show you this rose sets that I did with the gold thread this is the gold thread those rose sets that I make see so just staple them in the back and with that tag from Hobby Lobby that I really really like with that checkered buffalo check then I put it on red um, let me make sure you can see that see I put it on red and then this is the pink of course that's the pink and uh, let me show you what it looks on the pink it's really pretty so I made two row sets of those and then I made um, two of these other kind of row sets and I'll show you on here this is a pink rosette with a gold heart with another gnome and with these tags. And I made two. The other one is actually um, the red rosette. And here you can see it better. The red, gold, and the gnome. And this is the pink so you can see the difference. So I made two of those. I also made a um, card for my hubby. And I'm going to get that now. Bear with me. So, <clears throat> here's the heart for my hubby. So basically, I put like two little pillows with paper, two little spoon, and I put smooch. And then you can open it. And I'm not going to show you the inside, but that's what it looks like. And I made it, this is small, because you can also open it here, on there. And I'm not going to show the inside, but this is what it looks like. It's a card from my hubby, and um, leave those there so you can still see that. Then I made a couple of tags. I was trying the to do the flat. I started okay with this a flat card or a flat tag. Sorry, but then, then I failed. See, there's some <laughs> there's some dimensional. Here's my little tags. I made three of those. Then I also made these bags. So. I package up my friend's Happy Mail on here and I just put that and this one's going to have the pink one so it's going to kind of go like this 
Yeah. This one has the pink one and the red. So it cannot be like this, pink and red. <laughs> I am going to clear out for a minute so I can show you the rest um, because I made a lot more. See, I couldn't stop crafting and I actually still want to. Yeah, can you believe it? All right, then I'm gonna show you, I did these little pockets. So I put two of those failed hearts together and made it into a pocket so you could stuff like things in here. You want to stuff like a rosette in there. I made a pink one and I made a red one. You can stuff things inside of here, candy or whatnot. So I make those. And then I also made um, these little um, like stuff bags, or stuff envelopes. And I put little tags in here and it has a little pocket here and then you can put a gift in the back. All right, let's say you wanted to give her like a phone, put it in here. <laughs> um, so that's one. And then here's the another loaded envelope, a uh, loaded bag. And it's decorated like this on the front and then has this little tags in here. And then inside of here, there's a little tree, right there. And I noticed that I am a little off centered here. Let's see if this is working, okay? And then I'm gonna move them to the side so I can show you the big one. This is uh, one for a dear friend of mine. This has already been claimed. So it has this ornament and flare. And it's one of those bags, shopping bags, and I split it in half like a tuxedo. And here's a pocket. And it has <clears throat> row sets down here. It has those table scatters. It has this uh, mustache, Happy Valentine's Day. It has this pocket, of course, in the front. And it has tags and all kinds of cool things in here. Tags upon tags upon tags and all kinds. And here there's a straw, a pencil, and it has a, a Happy Valentine's pick. And it has stickers and all the cool stuff in there. Uh, the back has a seal, a wax seal. And this is how I did, did a white pink one, but I already gifted. So you, I'm not able to share that with you. And of course, you remember all the rosettes that I showed in the previous video. So I have been very busy crafting, crafting Valentine's Day. And then I'm hoping to do the same for Easter, for St. Patrick's Day. I wish I would, but I don't ever find a lot of crafty supplies for St. Patrick's Day, especially paper. So if anybody else, anybody knows where I can remedy that let me know this is a lot of the paper stuff that i've made um i hope you guys get some inspiration if you want to see anything in particular let me know i'll be happy to um i'll be happy to um go in detail um regarding that and uh, maybe do a uh, tutorial thank you so much for joining me this evening have a good evening bye